Hi, I'm Kelsey D Comics, and I make art like comics and commissions. Today, I want to share my process of drawing a commission while talking about the commissions I like to do and some of my favorite ones I've done so far. This surprised me looking back on it, but technically I've been making commissioned art for the last 14 years. I got my start in college doing some album art for a local indie band and also making insert illustrations for a zine project called Urban New Sense. Also, one could argue that working as a caricature artist at Cedar Point means you're making commissions every day because you're drawing the customer as a cartoon, but incorporating the things they want to see, whether it's full color or pets or full figures and backgrounds. Seriously, I did so many pet caricatures. One of my favorite caricatures I ever drew was a couple drawn in full color in full steampunk getup in a hot air balloon. I wish I had taken a picture. I took other ones, so here are some of those pictures. When I retired from Cedar Point, I moved to working freelance, which included making comics for hire. One of my biggest projects was Validation. Technically, the webcomic originally ran from 2013 to 2019, but for the last year or so, I've been reformatting it for posting on Webtoons for new readers to discover and old readers to come back to. But I did work on this project as well as Roxy and Tiny Unicorn as a commissioned artist. Thank you, CB. During that time, I also did occasional comic pages for other webcomics projects, and I also served as the letterer for two graphic novel projects by Isaac Stein. I also did comics inserts for bands like Joe Zellick and Just Like Honey. Both projects were very fun to work on. It wasn't until 2020 that I started to do character commissions regularly. Sure, I offered them as Kickstarter rewards sometimes, and I did do occasional family portraits. Sometimes a dad would ask me to draw their family as superheroes, or a guy would ask me to draw his girlfriend as a superheroine, but 2020 and 2021 were the years where making character art really took off. Part of that is because I got hired as Chief Creative Officer for Never Ending, and making character art was half of the job. The other part was the Kickstarter campaigns I did in those years had character commissions as an offering, and those were very popular reward options. I've been doing character commissions since then, especially for Dungeons & Dragons characters. What I'm drawing here is a Dungeons & Dragons character, as a matter of fact. But sometimes on rare occasions, post Cedar Point, friends will pay me to draw their cats. Drawing pets is not new to me. I cannot tell you how many people asked me to draw their dogs at Cedar Point. I lost track after my second summer there, but I can tell you that some of my favorite commissions have been cat-based. I even had a super supporter ask me to draw her cat as a D&D barbarian. That short became one of my most viral, by the way. What's next? Well, that's up to the next commission. If you would like me to draw something for you, head to tinyurl.com slash kelsey-trello or use the link in the description to get started. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. You are awesome.